Am I the ill for calling my wife's friend out for how she treated our waitress? A little background. My wife, 22, has a friend who she knows for 10 years and who I met during high school. We got along pretty well in school, but over the years, she has become much quicker to anger, snaps at every detail thing, and has on several occasions screamed at my wife for wanting to spend time with me at home rather than go out to the bar. Despite all of this, my wife has stayed friends with her, and I understand why. Isolation over the past years had been hard on us, and my wife has not able to see many of her friends as much as she used to. So having contact with her longest friend again has been something she wants to keep. The event that caused this specific issue happened a few days ago. My town has its annual Jubilee Parade, which is huge occasion and generally brings in massive crowd for a rodeo, downtown party, and big musical festival at the end of the weekend. This also means that every single restaurant is absolutely packed to the brim. My wife and I met her friend at one of the restaurants in the town, and it took only around 30 seconds for a friend to snap one of the hostess for not sitting as immediately. There weren't any clear tables yet, and it took only about two minutes to get a clean table. But even as we sat down, the friend was already rolling her eyes and the hostess and waitress and complaining. It took around 10 minutes to get our drink order in, which again the restaurant was absolutely packed. When the waitress came by in our drinks, the friend berated her for taking so long, but shut up once we put our food order in. We get our food about 20 minutes later, and things are quiet when we are eating. However, my wife's friend began to criticize the waitstaff for how long they were taking to do things and saying things like, I've worked in the food industry. You wouldn't see me making people wait this long for their food and drinks, and generally putting down the workers in the middle of a rush. The tipping point for me, ironically, was when we were living, and I was living behind a tip for the waitress. I went higher than usual, somewhere around 55% of the bill, because our waitress looked incredibly stressed and tired. The friend, seeing me putting the cash down, asks in a very snarky tone, Why are you tipping that for all such service? I should mention that the waitress was standing right there the whole time. I went off to the friend for this, telling her she needs to stop acting like a child and expect everyone to treat her like the center of attention. She seemed to get very embarrassed by this and left the restaurant immediately, and my wife went after her. Later that night, my wife came up to me and said that while, yes, the friend was being obnoxious, I shouldn't have called her out publicly, and as I embarrassed her in front of the whole packed restaurant. I feel like I might be the a-hole for calling my wife's friend publicly instead of approaching her in a more calm manner privately after this took place. Am I the a-hole for considering asking my biological father to walk me down the aisle at my wedding? The background story is pretty long, sorry. When I was 14, my mom told me that years earlier she cheated on her husband. She admitted it and he forgave her. When she got pregnant with me because of the timing, she wasn't sure if I was her husband's baby or the other guy she cheated with and she offered to terminate. Her husband didn't want to hear it and said he just knew I was his baby because he could feel it. He raised me as his daughter and apparently was in complete denial of possibility that I wasn't biological his. When I found this out at 14, I insisted on a paternity test because it bothers me that I didn't know who my biological father was. As I'm sure you can guess, I'm not his daughter. I knew he would be upset, but I thought since he'd raised me as his own for 14 years, his feelings for me probably wouldn't change much drastically or for too long. I was very wrong. He went totally called on me. He told me I wasn't allowed to call him dad anymore and insisted I call him a stepfather. He barely even spoke to me despite living in the same house. About a year later, my mom divorced him because she was so fed up of him treating me like an unwanted stepchild. And she saw how much it was upsetting me. I didn't hear from him for years, but he stayed in contact with my siblings, who are biologically his. The whole thing messed with my mental health pretty badly for a long time. When I was 19, I got in touch with my biological father, who didn't know that my mom was married and got pregnant. And I'm now pretty close with him and his kids. About a year and a half ago, my stepfather and I started occasionally speaking again. We have a civil relationship now, but he still clearly doesn't see me as his daughter. I'm 26 now, and my wedding is coming up. I invited my stepfather out of politeness, but I wasn't really sure whether he'd want to come. He texted me saying he was okay with coming, but he didn't know if he was comfortable walking me down the aisle, which was very presumptive. I told him that was okay because I actually considering asking my biological father to walk me down the aisle. 
which is true. But maybe it wasn't the best thing to say there. Because he got very mad saying my biological father didn't raise me and didn't earn the right to walk me down the aisle. I feel like the guy who's been making an effort to have a relationship with me since he found out about me does have more right than the guy who stopped caring about me 12 years ago. But my stepfather is insisting that it's an insult to him that I want my biological father to do it even though he isn't sure that he wants to do it himself. I acknowledge that this is a complicated situation because he did raise me for 14 years and I do understand why he would have a problem with the guy his ex-wife cheated him with. However, I think he sort of lose the right to decide anything about my wedding 12 years ago. Sorry for the very long post, but anyway, lay your judgments upon me. Am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for kicking my adult brother out of the house? My brother is 24 years old and has been living with me and a fiancé since he graduated from college. I always tell him to go to get a job and he's always telling me he's going to get one soon. He never does. My fiancé and I went away last weekend. I told my brother to watch our one-year-old daughter. He's always seemed responsible enough to watch our daughter so we trusted him with her for a weekend. My fiancé and I had a great time at the resort and felt very relaxed coming home. This relaxation turned out panic as we pulled out out into our driveway and saw broken windows and beer bottles scattered around the front lawn. We rushed inside to find my brother asleep on the couch and our baby crying in her bed. There were beer bottles in her baby room. This was when I really got pissed. I stormed back into the living room and woke my brother up, demanding he tell me what the hell happened to the night before. He told me he had thrown a party and it got out of hand. This was the last straw for me. I told him to get his shit and leave this incident. He tried to reason with me and convince me to let him stay, but I was done with him and left that day. I set a job interview for him because I didn't want him to be homeless. He works at that job, but always complained to me every day that he hates it so much. I tell him I don't care. He endangered my baby's life. My parents think that he should live with me and give him a second chance. I think I'm being perfectly reasonable by kicking him out. Am I the a-hole?